that shit. Anyway, fuck it. So it's Monday, 20th March, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, fuck, we back at it again with a YouTube, man. Um, so yeah, I got my, my second fight um, this weekend. So yeah, the, the last couple of weeks I've just been, I've been grinding. Uh, I've been a lot more consistent with my training. This guy that I'm fighting, um, he fought my teammate, um, Tama. Tama pieced him up. Um, <laughs> this dude's tall, man. And he's, he's had more fights than me and shit like that, but I don't really give a fuck, you know? Um, we're just, I'm just jumping in there. I want to get that ring experience. I want to learn how to fight, you know? I'm on a journey out here. Um, so I'm not too concerned. I'm really not worried. I'm not really psyching myself out or anything like that. Um, again, you know, I just like to remain calm with this shit. But there's certain things though that I really want to make sure that I, I try. Even if I fucking gotta take a few hits, like I gotta get used to sort of just like getting hit in the face, you know. That's what Kai was telling me last time, you know. It's like, you know, if you're gonna get hit, that's it. don't fucking keep running away like you know that's where you gotta fucking stand your ground and throw some hands so that's definitely what i want to do in this fight is like i don't want to freeze like if you guys saw my last fight i just fucking froze and i was just moving around and i was trying to play the outside game but you see because i'm short that's not gonna work for me i gotta get in there me playing the outside game is like i'm not even gonna fucking reach the cunt so i have to make sure that i go in this time and I let these hands go like I really want to let my hands go you know um, I'm sorry my bad I just got distracted I was playing this music video in the background some BBW thing fuck uh, anyway <laughs> what was I saying um, the fight yeah so I gotta try I gotta try and make sure that I come in um, but not just come in blindly like, you know, fucking throw the jab. A lot of my teammates, like, they've been giving me some really good advice, you know, like, uh, parry, use my jab to come in. Like, you know, so try set up some traps. But um, also my coach has just said, you know, just keep things simple. Work on the combinations that we've been working on. So that's that's what I'm going to go out there and do, man. I'm just going to work on everything that we've been working on over the last couple of weeks. I'm trying to overcome that that hurdle you know just just having that fear you're just getting over that fear of being in the ring and like getting hit um i'm just trying to overcome that but other than that man like you know again i'm not really feeling too i don't really feel nervous or anything like that i'm really keen to get in there to be honest with you um but this time i really want to fucking i want to fight like that's that's if that makes sense i don't want to just stand there and fucking move i want to let my hands go and see what i can do um i was just i was really frustrated from my last fight just because i i just i wasn't able to fucking throw any hands man it's it's fucking it's so fucking different though like with these tall motherfuckers it's just like they it's just trying to get in man and when i get in i have to make sure that i make a count <sighs> but yeah it's this weekend man the second fight I'm not going to say too much. I just got to go out there and do whatever the fuck I got to do. Um, but other than that, you know, I've been a lot more consistent with training. Um, yeah, it's been good, you know. And while I've been doing all this training, I've also just been trying to grow my business out the mud. So, yeah, you know. If you guys don't know, um, hit me up on Instagram, man. If you guys are interested in, like, personal training, online coaching, you guys need some programs, holler at your boy, man out the fucking mud so yeah i'm out here i'm fighting trying to grow my business learn about business as well and yeah we're doing it man and i'm also doing this youtube thing so yeah <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do
full jabs like this, right? Yeah. And you're probably going to parry it. So then this is half long. Okay? So we'll flick. If you guys don't know, flick is like, if your defense is really tight, if I know my jab can't go in there, so I'll have to do something to try and fucking uh, make it fit. So I'll try and slap him in the face. So when I get a slap him, I know he's going to move his hand to the side. And then when he does that, bang, bang, pull. Flip him here, and I'm going to come to the side. So I'll slap him here, just try and create an opening. And I'll flip it, and then bang, bang, boom, boom, boom. You guys all did it wrong, everyone did it wrong, eh? So I'm gonna make them all do the last round again, the second round again. Not everyone has like that combination. Even if you get the combination wrong, still finish it off. Because in a fight, you've got no time to say, oh shit, wait, wait, let me start again. Yeah. So if you fuck up that combination, just go straight to the next one. Start again. Okay, got it? Take over. Is, you know, win, uh, whether you win, you lose, it's just, it's, there's so much beauty uh, in fighting, in my opinion, man. Like, it's just, it, you know, it, it's such a beautiful way, I think, for us as men, like, to, de to develop our character. I believe every man got to learn how to get punched in the face, bro. You know, fighting is sort of like life. Uh, you're going to get fucked up. But you have to have the perseverance to keep on going. You have to have the strength to keep going even when things aren't going your way, you know. And you learn that in fighting, you know. You learn that, like, even if things aren't going your way, you still got to fucking push through. And, you know, the only way that we get to, like, truly develop our, uh, our character and gain that strength is to go through pain. So that's, I would say, that's sort of like the journey that I'm on, man. And, and it's cool. And I'm just very grateful and blessed to be living in New Zealand and actually being able to have this opportunity to do these things. You know, I'm definitely going against the grain. Um, but fuck it, man. I'm all about that shit. Um, I have a feeling that in my life things, I, I will get what I want in my life and everything will pay off in the end. Um, yeah, man. I just, I, just, I just stay true to what I'm feeling. And I'm just going to keep going, keep going, keep doing the YouTube, keep working on my business, keep learning how to fight. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit on this shit. Um, I believe in what I believe in. And, you know, to anybody else out there, you know, if you like me, you're a fucking dreamer. Just, just keep striving for those dreams, man. You don't want to, don't sell your soul. Do what you got to do, but make sure you're working on your dreams, bro, because in this life, we only get like one chance to do these types of things, you know. I think about it every fucking day. It's like when I'm going to training, it's like even if I'm tired or I'm feeling fucked up, I'm like, yo, like there are people in the world that don't even have the opportunity that I have and I'm out here. I got the audacity to complain or sometimes not even show up to training, you know what I mean? So that really puts things into perspective for me. It's like, you know, you have an opportunity here. You, you may not have much in life, but you have everything you need in order to build the life that you've always dreamt of. So that's sort of where I'm at, like mentally, bro. That's that's like the wave that I'm I'm on, and that's how I'm thinking these days. So you know, if you live in here in New Zealand, bro, like always remember, we're living in a first world country. We're really blessed. You know, you go to some third world countries; they don't have the same opportunity that we have, bro. We get to train, bro. Training is a privilege. And I'm just happy, and I'm just really grateful, man. I'm really grateful to be in this position that I'm in. Uh, you know, it may not be much to others, but to me, like, this is everything, bro. 
I remember when I was working at Foot Locker and Helen Steins, like just like, you know, those fucking shit retail jobs, bro. No disrespect to anyone else out there working in those types of jobs, but I always just like think about, fuck man, like, why am I doing this shit? Like, you know, I'd rather just be training. I'd rather just be fucking training and, you know, like bettering myself. And yeah, you know, I'm definitely not where I want to be financially in life, but yo, I get to fucking train, man. I manifested this shit. I'm out here, I'm training, and you know, the, the money and shit like that, I'm working on it, definitely working on it, but in terms of like what I truly desire, like I've always just wanted to have that lifestyle where it's like, yeah, okay, get your money, but I don't want to have to sacrifice training. Yeah, there'll be times where um, training will come second, and that's just life, you know, that's just part of being an adult, but majority of my week, bro, I get to indulge in fucking I get to learn how to fight you know how beautiful is that so always count your blessings bro there's always a way to find gratitude and just know that we are blessed with opportunity out here in New Zealand and you know to anybody that's watching this you should definitely make the most of it bro don't give a fuck about like how old you are or anything like that you're never too old to chase your dreams remember it's like fucking one we're here one time bro like we're here and then we're gonna fucking die one day so it's like do something bro don't give a fuck like I don't give a fuck bro imagine imagine how many people like like you are gonna be fucking you are gonna paralyze yourself by thinking about what other people are gonna think about you fuck them bro like just go after whatever the fuck you want like me like I'm doing this whole YouTube thing no doubt they're gonna be people be like oh look at that motherfucker he gonna be cringy this and man suck my dick suck my fucking dick bro Who, you gotta go out there and get what the fuck you want get your money get your dreams get your goals you want to learn how to fight you want to do youtube you want to fucking do a podcast like go out there and do whatever the fuck you want to do in your life bro you can't live your life fucking just thinking what other people are gonna think if you keep thinking what other people are gonna think about you then you're never truly gonna live a happy and fulfilled life you know put yourself first be selfish don't give a fuck if you're broke don't give a fuck what your circumstances go after what it is you want you have to be willing to bleed in order to fucking truly get what you want in this life fuck man <sighs> alright that's me it's fight week alright man so for this half of the video I'm gonna have to do a voiceover just because the camera fucked out um, I think on the day something wasn't plugged in properly and yeah we got no sound so that's okay you know I'll just fucking do the voiceover it's all good anyway so I'm out here see I got the blue headgear on um, that's Roman's headgear that's why the fucking straps are all the way to the end <laughs> I didn't know that I was in the blue corner, so we had to improvise on the day. Luckily, Roman uh, saved the day for me out here. So anyway, when I was walking into the ring, like I was pretty calm. I wasn't overthinking anything. I was just focusing on what I needed to do. Uh, yeah, man, I caught a, a glance at my opponent. I was like, yeah, you know, it's all good. He ain't that big, whatever. So anyway, coach is out here helping me get my gloves on. Out here, cool, calm, collected, bro. I'm really not afraid of this shit. Like, you know, I wasn't too nervous or anything like that. Like, the last two fights that I've had now, you know, I haven't... Like, the nerves really haven't gotten the better of me. It's just, yeah, I would say it's the skill, really, that I have to work on out here. But in terms of nerves and, like, getting in there, like, I'm not really too phased, man. I'm just, I'm out here. I'm doing what i got to do. Anyway, the lady, she coming out here to do the gear check, mouth guard, gloves, got that groin. Yep, happy days. See, now when, I, when we came face to face like this, I was like, God damn, that motherfucker is tall. He didn't look that tall like when I was in the corner, but fuck it, man. We out here and I just had to do what I had to do. So first round, fuck, you see. I came in swinging, man. I came in swinging just because from my last fight, I was like, fuck, I need to at least throw something, you know? I was traumatized from the last one. I was just a bit frustrated because I froze up and I didn't really throw anything. So this one, I was like, fuck, man, let me just, <laughs> let me just throw some shit, man. Anyway, he was really good in evading and managing his distance. 
you know i came in out there with a the flame i came out there with, like a fucking wild horse and then yeah he just he kept doing what he needed to do man shit see yeah see i was i was trying to get in there but it's different with these tall motherfuckers yeah oh god damn he just be laying that shit on me Hey, but it's all good, man. You know, it's all experience out here. We have to go through this shit. Yeah, I fucking ate that one. I fucking ate. God damn, there's the body shot. The fucking body shot. Like, I didn't even expect it to be that hard. Um, But yeah, that really took the air out of my fucking body. I was like, what the fuck was that? I, I really didn't expect that shit. But yeah, that was my first time experiencing like a proper body shot. So that's okay, though. See the lady over here She was saying like Oh that was a low blow But you can see um, In the camera It was no low blow It was just a clean body shot Anyway I'm back I survived Yeah you see I'll be hitting that jab I'll be hitting that jab See right now the Oh god damn man See I'm like I don't know When I watch this man It's just like I don't know bro It's just I'm very reactive I'm not I'm not setting anything up It's hard Because you know He's just stalking me right now And I just feel like I'm too jittery Like I, I'm not calm and shit I'm just I'm playing his game You see Haymaker I tried to <laughs> I tried man Fuck Yeah you end of round one We made it through round one man It wasn't like Too bad if I was being honest with you Like round one I was like okay That's fine but round two, this is when shit got real, bro. He came in with bad intentions in this round. Like, he wanted to fucking end me. Like, I felt it in his punches, bro. But that's so good, though. We out here to learn. We out here to do what we gotta do. Yeah, see, fucking motherfucker. Like, it's, it's hard to watch this, man. See, I'm throwing it, but it's like, it's just survival. It's survival. It's not fighting. What you're seeing here is fucking survival. See, I grabbed him. I felt like double-legging him. But it's boxing. We can't do that shit. Yeah, see, he's got that range on me. Like, he's just... Everything he's throwing, it's like fucking landing. And I can't... I just can't fucking reach, man. I'm not... I'm, it's, I'm struggling to get in. Like, I don't really have the answers here. Yeah, see, I need to work on, like, footwork, just spa more, I guess, and just, just everything. See, oh, man, I wanted to double-leg that dude, bro. Yeah, see, it's just his game right now. It's just his game, and I'm surviving, and I'm reacting. He's just cornering me. See, I just grabbed him, because I was like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck do I do? Yeah, see, he doesn't really... He's just hes just hunting me down. I just felt like a fucking punching bag out here. What the fucking vibe? But look, man. You gotta go through this shit. You just have to. It's part of... I'm pretty sure it's part of everybody's fight journey, you know? You gotta go through this shit. And you know, this is what I needed. I need to feel this shit. I need to experience it. Anyway, that's the end of round two. After this round, I was fucking gassed. I was like talking a jar. I was like, God damn, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? My coach was telling me like some combinations and stuff like that. I was just... Yeah, man. I was trying, I was listening, but... You know, actioning it was another story. You see, I lean back over here and I just, I look up, I'm like, God damn. I lean back. Yeah, fuck, man, I was gassed. <laughs> and next thing you know, it's fucking round three. Yeah, man, he was just coming at me. See, even when I'm watching it now, yeah, it's more head movement that's needed. And I just need to be more sharper on the feet. Like, it's very sloppy. 
very fucking sloppy right now, man. Yeah, everything is just fucking pissing me apart. Yeah, see that that I remember that fucking that fucking hurt, man. Damn. Yeah, fuck, man. And it may not look like it hurts or anything like that, but trust me, when you're in there, it's it's a whole nother game. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Get on the fucking ground, motherfucker. She told me no wrestling. I just couldn't help myself, man. See, I tried to do a little something there. It just, it just didn't work. I was out of... The tank was empty at this stage, man, if I'm being honest. Yeah, fuck, you got another body shot, the fucking cunt. I was... I was just trying to breathe at this point, man. That's all I could do. See, even there, it's like I'm just put, I'm like I'm putting my hand up, but I'm not jabbing, and that, I think that just comes down to my conditioning. Yeah, everything, everything. Just watching this fight back and doing his voiceover, you know, we can just ah, uh, there it is. There's the fucking final body shot. The cunt fucking got me down, but hey, good, good match, good on him. You know, he did what he needed to do. I just, I just gotta work harder, man. But that was it. Like as you can see, I've uh, struggled to get up. That was fucking crazy. I took like fucking I don't know how three body shots or some shit shit was wild uh, yeah felt, I felt like throwing up after that one at the time I go yo take out my uh, my mouth guard fuck I did I did quickly fucking spat over there as well anyway I walked over thanked this corner they were all good but hey man we survived lived to fight another day you know, there's a lot of people out there, you know, they talk about fighting, but only only the few are willing to actually get out there and, you know, do it. So that's me. We out here, we getting our reps in a tank, getting that experience, getting that ring time, doing what we got to do to improve, man. It's all part of the journey. On to the next one, bro. Good game. I'm definitely going to be back, man. It's all a part of my fucking journey, bro. Trust me. On to the fucking next one. Wait, we're talking to the mic. Yeah, so we're about to do these shots in the Honda, man. Um, yeah, so I watched the fight. And damn, man. Like, I don't really think there's much to say like you've all seen it um yeah fuck i just look like i just look shit out there let's just be honest you know i'm not gonna fucking cap out here like you saw the fucking tape <laughs> like, fuck man um yeah that was definitely different to an exhibition fight um like yeah you could definitely feel it in the punches like whoa that boy he's he's coming at me but anyway, um, we survived. Um, yeah, I got dropped with that body shot. But fuck, like, I'm just going to be very fucking honest. Like, I didn't, I don't, I didn't know what to do in there, man. I didn't know what to do in there. That That's it. Like, I just, I was just getting fucking, he was just making it rain. He was just making it rain. I, I just had my hands up. I tried to throw in the beginning. But, like... I'm really just not looking like a boxer out there. I'm not looking like a fucking fighter. I look like a fucking idiot. Oh, that camera fucking be wilding on me. Shit. Let me just adjust. Hold up, hold up. Damn. Okay, we back. So, like I was saying, I don't, um, I don't look like a fucking boxer out there, man. I really have to, I gotta go away and I need to just, I just need to train and do a lot more like just i just gotta work on my skill 
I need to put more time in. Like, I need to go away for, like, several fucking months. Maybe even, like, a year and a bit or some shit. I don't even know. But all I'm saying is, before I step foot into the boxing ring again, I need to be... I just need to establish consistency with training and sparring. I need to be sparring a lot more. I think that's the main thing here for me. Just getting used to that intensity. Because when I'm in the ring, like, it's just fucked, man. Like, I'm just getting flustered. I don't really have the answers for the shots that he's giving me. Um, yeah, like, if I look at the, the pros, like, if we want to be positive, not that... Like, the positives is that, okay... Like, yes, you know, this builds character, um, it'll make me stronger and all that shit, but fuck, yeah, I know that I need to go away and I just need to make a lot of lifestyle changes in my life, um, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, like, fucking be able to fight and actually not look like a fucking idiot out there, because right now, what well, this fight was a bit symbolic for me in a way, I feel, um, this fight just showed this fight was like a reflection of my life bro I think and it's like in order for me to change my performance in the ring I need to change my daily habits and just get into a better routine and just be a bit more accountable because at the end of the day like I did that shit to myself I feel that you know it was my lack of discipline and consistency with training that made me look like that in the ring like if I'm just gonna be honest out there uh, there's nothing more to say about that. It's just I did that shit, and I just need to. I just need more time, more time training, more time. You know, just get in a skill set. Cause right now I I can't. I don't fucking. I don't have a skill set. I'm just being honest. But I will get. I will get there. It's just that I need to go away for several months right now and just train and spa. Like get used to that that type of training. Get used to getting hit. Um, being confident um, and yeah I just think next time that I hop in the ring it's like I just want to have that confidence knowing that yo I've actually got some skills I have a, a skill set on me that I can use out there because right now it feels like I really haven't got shit and I, I'm just getting in there and I'm just getting I'm a fucking punching bag I'm becoming people's fucking highlight reels bro that's not what we want I don't want to fucking it is all a part of the journey though right like um just fucking you have to get this is a an essential part of everyone's fight journey i feel you have to get fucked up you have to take those hours you have to get dropped with a body shot you got to feel all that shit so you, that you can learn and be aware you know it's not like when you get punched in the face and you're like you know you're like what the fuck it's like now when you get punched in the face like okay breathe be calm that's that's the type of shit that i'm talking about man um yeah just more time more training need to work harder need to change my life um that's it man i just i don't know what else to say if i'm being honest i'm just i just put the fucking camera on record and i'm just talking i'm a little a little wavy at the moment you know the vibes um but yeah man I think moving forward man now I just gotta just yeah we just gonna train we just gonna train and I'm gonna make sure that I have a skill set um before I hop in the ring next that's what I need to have man become good at sparring then go into the ring um yeah footwork just fundamentals I need to get bigger um I will be dropping down a weight class um, for my next boxing match I'll be fighting at bantamweight I think that'll be a good weight for me but yeah now that I haven't got the fight or anything like that I'm gonna put on some good muscle get athletic um, I want to start up my wrestling again because my main goal is MMA boxing is just like a, you know we just getting that ring experience and everything like that but I'm looking forward to now just you know starting up my wrestling again I want to do some wrestling comps this year that would be so fucking dope um, and yeah, I'm gonna get back on top of my strength and conditioning stuff. And yeah, just focus on work, try and make a bit more money, always, it's always the goal. Uh, and yeah, just get into that good routine.
And then, yeah, I think that's that's really it, man. That's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna hold on to this loss. Uh, it's just gonna be something that I need to just remember every now and again that yo, okay, make sure you staying on that path. Make sure you're being disciplined. Otherwise, you're gonna get fucked up again. You're gonna look like a fucking idiot. So, yeah. It does suck, man. It is. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It is fucking embarrassing out there. But you just, you have to go through that in order to see the fucking light. It's just no going around this shit. So anyway, I'm not gonna like pay it too much attention. It is what it is. Now moving forward, just make sure that I just pick my nuts up and I stay accountable and I do what I gotta do. Otherwise, you know, I can't be, can't be. Can't be looking like that out there. That's not acceptable. And it's not, I don't like that shit. Okay, man, on to the next. Yeah, stay posted. And um, go follow me on my socials, man. Um, out the mud. And you can just follow my main. I'll put it, no, I'll try, I'll try to put it over here. Some shit like that. All right, go follow me on my socials, man. I'll see you guys next time.